Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and my last hours in Cyprus. Look at the sky, not a single cloud, no chemi trails, hopefully never, but I don't know how it's here. Before I forget, uh, important, important uh, update is about the live I posted yesterday with Andrei Martianov. I would like those of you who are watching my channel sometimes to click on the community page or um, on the main page of the YouTube channel of mine because now YouTube does it in a way that you have the pre-recorded videos that are posted on one side and then you have um, the other videos which are live videos that are like in a different category. So you have different categories now for live and different category for pre-recorded. One sec, let me get my backpack on. Okay. So yes, please check it out. We had really good conversation with Andrea yesterday and uh, it was a little late in the evening. So maybe not many of you had a chance to watch it, but you can find it there. Another thing is in regards to, I received a, a comment and I received actually a few emails about precious metals. Um, so, you know, I'm not financial advisor, of course I'm not, but some of you are asking me where did I buy or where do I buy silver, gold, precious metals. So I will share this with you because when I was still in the United States, I started to buy from the family-owned business. It's a really good company. Some of you already heard about it on my channel. It's called Money Metals Exchange. I buy from them. Uh, I will put the link down below the video. You can store it with them. You can ship it to you within US. And I think outside too, I'm not sure with other countries. I know Canada, I think for sure. But um, I don't have any paid partnerships with anyone on my channel. So no one sponsors my videos. However, and I have to mention this because if you buy from Money Metals Exchange, certain amount, I'm not sure exactly how much you spent. It can be silver, can be gold, copper, um, different precious metals. And you mention my name, Anya K. You will get half an ounce of silver for free just mentioning my name so on that note gold is now two thousand fifty dollars and silver is around twenty six dollars it changes you know every day a little bit but uh, gold crossed this two thousand dollar threshold again and we see if they are still going to suppress it below 2k or not so this is one thing, uh, those things I wanted to mention today. I'll just hide myself a little here, this is a nice spot, really nice. Okay, so if we, when we are talking about money, um, it's not uh, information from Poland, but I just read this before I left the hotel, that Deutsche Bank has announced that it's closing its technical centers in Moscow and St. Petersburg, and according to the Financial Times, their employees can count on severance pay, leave pay, right? Uh, the bank at the beginning of the conflict did not want to withdraw from Russia. However, the decision was taken after sharp criticism of such an approach by many investors and politicians. So we have Deutsche Bank leaving Russia. You know, I've opened an, an account with um, Raiffeisen Bank, which is Austrian bank, when I was in Moscow. And we see how this goes, because I know that they are pressing that bank, White House is pressing that bank to uh, not open accounts for foreigners. So we see if they are going to affect this bank as well. But as far, in, as, far as the money topic, I just came across this information that uh, Polish Prime Minister, Pinocchio Morawiecki, and by the way, some of you say that there is Pinocchio in every country and I absolutely agree. There are Pinocchios all over and there are Muppets all over. So Pinocchio apparently took a loan, a credit for Poland last year alone around 100 billion dollars. 
that's how much money he took and talking about him he was not able to fly out of United States because let me tell you well he actually is back now but he was not able to leave as, as it was planned because birds hit a government plane at the Washington DC airport it's a sign sign from God birds hit the plane of Morawiecki, Pinocchio but he actually left they went to the hotel and he left uh, next morning which is this morning which is uh, Friday it's interesting art on the wall let me show you step away I hope you can see it unexpected uh, spot so there you have it birds expressed their opinion about Morawiecki and what else I have for you I don't have much today because this is like the time before packing myself and I'm really good with packing so no stress there uh, Deutsche Bank Morawiecki oh yes grain Ukrainian grain uh, more and more protests in Poland because the shenanigans are coming out and here is the key they are attacking uh, the ministers right like the ministers of agriculture and of course the companies that were buying etc but no one is really focusing on who is the decision making person here the pm right maybe it should go there it should go there it should go to the top and maybe they should really express it higher because that's what they want like focus the focus the anger focus the uh, protests on certain people then you make them resign right or make them leave and then you give them another position like they did with that guy i don't even remember the name nor i want to put in my mental space his name uh, now the grain is one story but we have another thing they are doing this the same not to this well they are doing the same situation with uh, chickens so now we will have overload with chickens from Ukraine and of course other products as well and on the note of Ukraine I came across again thanks to Maciej Maciak he showed a TikTok video and I'm not on TikTok maybe I will join TikTok because it's actually a very good platform. Anything that's going to be banned by the West is actually good. <laughs> so there is a lot of hate now going on between Polish women and Ukrainian women. There was one TikTok video that was posted by one Ukrainian girl uh, showing her opinion how she feels when she compares herself to Polish women it wasn't really nice and some Ukrainian women were also very upset with her approach to that and then of course a lot of Polish girls were absolutely opposing this kind of behavior but I think this is just the beginning guys this animosity between Polish people and Ukrainian people is going to escalate more and more and more and we knew this is just a matter of time this video is a very lightweight video nothing major to really report but maybe that's good I will be heading to my next destination in a few hours and I hope you will join me there as well I will announce it on locals and I will announce it when I'm there on Instagram so please follow me on Instagram you will see all my travels you will see the pictures from beautiful places and you will also have some lives with me more traveling approach there not so much politics actually I put I put in the stories the political topics but I leave you here guys uh, thank you so much for watching this is maybe not like a major content today but a little bit more of my thoughts 
and saying goodbye to Cyprus and yeah join me on locals and follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video bye guys